Oh, this is one packet of gelatin. Gelatin. Yep. One packet. And you really don't need much water for this. Um, the more water you add, the longer it's going to take for oh. this to start to congeal as the water cools. Um, if you don't add enough water, then it gets clumpy and powdery. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to add... Let's start with that. It also smells like death. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so right. Girl. It was really bad. Yeah. She was like, I'm going to throw up. And I'm like, oh, ha, ha. Yeah, I know it's bad. And then she's like, no, I'm throwing up. Oh, and then she just. Well, know, it but, it so yeah, I know, right? Just use the throw. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> save, let's get a cup. Save that. <laughs> so this is. This is our gelatin. Uh, it's really yeah, liquidy yeah, right now because yeah, it's hot. Yeah. It's jello. It oh, works like jello. Yes. You put jello in the fridge to cool. We're kind of hard to miss. Mm -hmm. It will cool. Exactly. Right, so this is, like, mm. this is the consistency we're at. I should be out. I'm going now. Oh, oh, okay, sounds go. good. Mm. Oh, God. There we go. Mm. Yeah. See you. So this is really liquidy. As this gels, <laughs> it will start to um, solidify. Did you put... Straight gelatin water, you didn't put any glycerin in it? The glycerin makes it last a little bit longer. Okay. Straight gelatin will start to dry out a lot sooner. We do have glycerin. You can add like a drop or two and that will um, elongate its life. The thing about gelatin is because it's water-based, as the water evaporates from it, it will start to distort and curl and pull away from the face and the glycerin helps keep it the moisture in there and that's why that lasts longer. I was always taught um, one to one to one and a half. So like one cup gelatin, one cup glycerin, and then one and a half cups of water was how I was taught. How I usually do it. Um, the way I learned it was to use like two or three drops of glycerin yeah. because then it will, um, the glycerin is like a, like an oily kind of liquid and it mm. stays that way. That's why it's great to paint over face painting <laughs> because it stays wet. If you're putting in one-to-one -one of something that stays wet, then it's, it, yeah, it's harder to tell when it dries. The reason, like, regular Jell-O um, doesn't work for this kind of stuff, and the reason it takes longer to set is because there's sugar in it, so that sugar, mm. you've liquefied and it's recrystallizing. Um, so okay. I would say maybe right. cut back on the glycerin, and that might... Around two. That might um, <laughs> make it set a little bit faster even. I do, I stir it forever. Yeah, don't mm -hmm. stir forever. So, okay. If you want, you don't even really need the glycerin in this setting unless you like are planning on it being, like last night we were out there really, really late, maybe on that kind of night, but like a night like this, go without it because it's going to make it longer. It's going to take longer to set. Um, <laughs> or try it out, see how it goes. So this is... Mm, this is my, um, this is the stage when it's hot, you can add almost any kind of makeup to color this. You can add grease, you can add cream, you can add powder, you can add liquid, mm -hmm. you can add almost anything. Pigment, <coughs> food coloring. Food mm, um, okay. A powdered pigment will suspend, a liquid pigment will blend with it better. Um, okay. And then you said that you mix this mm -hmm. with... The movie theater blood. Movie theater blood, which is almost like that, but doesn't have as much sugar in it. Mm -hmm. The sugar in the caro syrup is what... Um, makes it kind of act like the glycer, um, sorry, the gelatin. So, um, caro syrup blood, gelatin, um, the movie blood, the thick blood we use, all that stuff, if it gets in anybody's hair, hot water will take it out. Yeah. The only thing that we're really worried about at this stage is um, latex, latexing mm -hmm. someone's hair, any mm -hmm. hair. Oh yeah, that stinks. Um, so yeah, um, <laughs> this is taking a long time to set because the water comes out super freaking hot, but you can see it's starting to, Mm. Strings are starting to get a lot longer. Mm. So, and then this will start to get to a point where um, it will get like actually stringy. Um, and as it's, when it's actually stringy, uh, a little bit before it gets to that stage is when you want to start to put it on somebody's skin. Mm. Um, and as you apply it to their skin, that's when like this would start to be a good stage because if you, I'll show you in here. Mm -hmm. When you wipe it. It runs a bit, oh. but it's not completely liquid. Okay. Yeah. So, hmm. and I can show you guys over here. This is a good stage to kind of start. Because when you wipe, it runs, but it's not totally liquid and it's running off the face. It's a little bit bigger. And that's what you're looking for. Because if you get it at the right stage, when you wipe it, 
you know, okay. I got you. But it will start to set. <laughs> and with you, I think you have to wait a little bit longer. And if you get it just right, it will drip and it will start to set as it's dripping. Mm -hmm. And it will and it'll stop. hold. What? And it will just stop. Dangle. And you'll have these awesome, like, yeah, gross vomit drips. Dangly. A dangle. So a dangle. A dangle. Mm. Put about now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about now. I've been well, making that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. I've been making the danglies with the cotton. But, yeah. Sorry, I got the child literally shimmied up the body in fear. My ear. Oh. Um. So Josh asked if uh, you made latex or something to hold it down. Um, the gelatin works almost the same way latex does, where gelatin and latex are not adhesives. Okay. Latex is not an adhesive. I think I right. said this last time too. Yeah. It works because it was liquid and it's drying into the pores and the creases and it's holding on to your skin. But it itself is not adhesive. It is not something sticky. Um, and you don't need a remover for it. Um, so it, you could put latex down, but it's almost doing the same thing as you're just putting something that's not. Like the latex is holding to the skin, and then the gelatin is holding to the latex, and none of it is adhesive. If you were really worried about it staying, you could start talking about putting adhesive like spirit gum or something like that. Um, but gel your gelatin and your latex will stick, they are not adhesive by themselves. Okay. So, um, I don't think you need to. It will start, like if you put it around the mouth, just be aware, like if you put it up here, like in the cheek area, it will start to fall off, but if you put it mostly on the chin area, it's going to stay because this doesn't move as much. That's kind of how that breaks down. How does it mm. work with facial hair? You can put it in facial hair. It comes off. It Hot water. Hot water. They, they, will, they won't be able to take it off here. But they right. can go home and take a hot shower and it will all come out. Hmm. Yeah, so if you have somebody that you want to put like an effect on and they have facial hair or like they're bald and they have like peach fuzz on top, gelatin is your best friend for that because mm. uh, the, they'll, they'll probably bitch about it, but it washes out with hot water. Mm -hmm. One thing is gelatin kind of does what gelatin wants to do. It's really hard to mold it. In you can't mold it. It's really for drips. You're making like drips. you're making like a vomit. You're making uh, like a melted ice cream. You're mm. making um, just like a gross textures. Ooh, you're making it in ooze. You got you know. Ooh, that's like boils. Right. Mm. Boils. Oh yeah. Yeah, I plus, did one. Um, plus. I did a look mm. once. I did a body paint. The guy was in like a coverall, painted him green, and he had all this white and yellow veining, and he had these big boils on his forehead. Mm. And then I went in with gelatin, and I used cream makeup and made it neon yellow. And out mm. of the boils were these long strands of gelatin nice. that went all the way That's down to like his awesome. knees. Oh, nice. Because they like they oh. came down, and then they stuck to here, and then they kept running. And I just kept going with it, and I put like little fake spiders in there. Ooh! And like you can really get some cool, like think outside the box. I used it for like a toxic slime. You can use it. We use mm. it with the black light reactive paint to make like a um, melted ice cream look. You can use it for the vomit. I know you've used it for vomit. Um, you can use it for. You could use it for a blood splatter if you want to make it mm. red and make it look like you know, carry with mm. a bucket of blood. Yeah. yeah. And then you don't have to worry about getting in the eyebrows or anything like that. Mm, that's so nice. The only thing is, just as a courtesy to our actors, if you're using it, um, just ask if they're vegan. Talk to them about it. Yeah. Oh, no. that's a good point. Because some some people take that very seriously. Yeah. I had an actress I worked with this summer. She took it very seriously. Um, I wouldn't use gelatin on her. Right. Because um, she was very she she wasn't she wasn't like a militant vegan. She wasn't rude about right. it. But that was her preference. And I had all cruelty-free mm -hmm, adhesives good. and everything to use with her. And then um, there was a scene where she had to eat a body part. Uh. And I was going to make it out of a vegan jello substitute. Oh, cool. But it didn't act like jello. It didn't right. gel. It right. was like a seaweed. And it was like crumbly. And right. I'm sure like if you were eating it, it would have been like kind of like jello, but it didn't act like jello. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I was like, I'm so sorry I have to have you eat. Yeah. Like real gelatin, yeah. big body parts, <laughs> and she was a trooper about it because they were just raw, right. unsweetened, overly colored body part oh. jello, <laughs> syrup blood, uh. on the ground, and she just picked it up and ate it, 
and I, I was standing there. Trooper. I was standing there. This is we're off on a tangent now. I was That's standing okay. there with a paper towel. They called cut, mm-hmm. and the director and the director of photography are talking about if they need to do a second take. I made four of them. Wow. We could do second takes, and I told them I made extras to do second takes. Right. Uh, and I'm wait like standing like right off side like I'm waiting to be here to like spit this. Disgusting, <laughs> horse hoof, vomit flavored, overly sweetened carob syrup crayon. <laughs> out of your mouth. I had them on ice all day. They Ugh. took so long debating that it melted in her mouth and she ended up swallowing it. Oh. Poor thing. Yeah, it was disgusting. Poor thing. So she Yucky. was like, Ew. 